What is going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be my third Java tutorial. In, uh, at, I just got a new SQL book and so I've been learning learning a little bit more SQL and so I thought I'd do some, some SQL Java tutorials. So in this first tutorial we're just going to download and install XAMPP which is the web hosting service and we're going to get the proper libraries into Eclipse. So we just go to X, put XAMPP into Google, go download, uh, I think it's this one, download that. I've already got it installed. Once you've got it installed, it's going to look like this down here, and these won't be running. So you just got to hit start and start. And then to check out your database, all you do is you click on the admin button right here, and it takes you to your database. So I'm not going to create any tables or databases in this one. I'm going to do it in the next tutorial. Uh, so the next thing we got to do is get the proper library and so you just type connector slash j in google and click on that guy so this is the library that's going to let you use sql in eclipse oh, which one did i download zip pop yeah so download the zip yeah don't you can sign it if you want but I think we can just go ahead and get the download, get the connector J, open that up. So now the connector J file is done downloading. All we actually need is this right here. Uh, yeah, that's no bueno. Right, I'm just going to extract all. Uh, just extract the whole thing to your desktop, I guess. Okay, and so here we have it here. Now hopefully it will drag in. Yes. Hooray. So now we have our connector J file in there. It's good to go. And I think that's all I'm going to do in this tutorial. Um, yeah, so in the next one I'll create I'll create a class that adds data to the database and I'll show you guys. Well first I'll show you how to make tables and databases and then how to add data to that database. So I'll see you in that next tutorial.